Ben Askren is coming to the UFC. Demetrius Johnson headed to 1FC. Just an amazing resolution to this story. And for two fighters who are good men, who are family men, who deserve to be happy. And it seems, Kenny, as though Agent Malki Kawa, who I consider a friend, he lives down here in South Florida, seems like he was instrumental in sort of getting the organizations together to get to this point. Both guys are going to sign new deals with their promoters. So you can call it a trade, call it sort of releases on both sides however you want to put it Askren is a UFC fighter DJ's headed out and I'm excited that's right and it seems like all the fighters are happy and that's the most important thing you know uh Malky kind of has this hate uh, love hate relationship in the mixed martial arts community but the guy really is amazing at what he does getting the deals done uh and making his fighters happy um is what he does best um, we have one of the best welterweights in the world. Ben Askren is a tremendous wrestler, a former Olympian, um, a guy who can make even very good fighters look silly and look amateurish. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how he does against some of the best welterweights in the world. And if we want to jump right into it, uh, you know, why not give him a super fight uh, against the greatest welterweight of all time, George St. Pierre? I, I think that one super fight that George St. Pierre might be interested in, I think that and right. Habib to see who truly is the best wrestler um, and if his skills would hold up uh, against a guy like Ben Askren. And for Demetrius Johnson, you know, it is very sad to see him go. Uh, obviously, one of the greatest fighters that I've ever seen compete. The guy was a true martial artist, but at the end of the day, he really beat every single person in his division. Uh, wiped out the whole division. That, that fight against Henry Cejudo, that second match, while it was close, really could have gone either way. Um, so um, an amazing career for him. Uh, I wish him the best, and uh, but at the same time, it is sad to see him go. But we, we do have a great fighter in Ben Askren. And I'll get to some comments of mine on Demetrius Johnson in a second, but I want to start with Ben Askren because, as Kenny knows, I've sort of been a, a longtime unabashed supporter of this guy. If you read my chats at ESPN.com, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011. I, did. Yeah, I appreciate that, Kemp. Yeah. But he was the guy who we talked about the most, right, and where he was yeah. going to go. And obviously he was very active back in those days, not so much in the middle of his career. Then he did fight a lot late 2017. Mm -hmm. But, Kenny, do you remember when, when, when you and I were calling fights, we would have these meetings with the matchmakers, Joe Silva and Sean Shelby. And to, to grind Joe a little bit, you may recall, I showed up to one of those matchmaker meetings wearing a funky Ben Askren T-shirt. Yes. And <laughs> Joe was not too happy at the time, and I think he failed to see the amusement in that T-shirt. But yep. I was sort of trying to promote his candidacy, his UFC candidacy, candidacy back then, because I just think he brings a lot to the table in his ability to build fights. And then I think his strength and his style to win fights and be a real problem to a lot of strikers and yep. otherwise in this division, I just think he brings a whole lot to the table. And to your point, whether it's George St. Pierre or somebody in that top 10 at 170 pounds, I don't think it's going to be going to be an immediate championship opportunity. But this is a in my mind, a huge injection into this already loaded UFC welterweight division. Without a doubt, and, and I agree with you. I, I think this guy's skills on the mic are as impressive as his skills in the cage, and um, you know he knows how to build up a fight. He knows how to call out fighters. He's already doing that with all the big names at welterweight already. So um, I think he's giving himself a bunch of options in that welterweight division, um, and you know I think this is a guy that should have been fighting in the UFC all along. However, from him being outside of the UFC and fighting in 1FC and fighting uh, outside of the organization, I think he has built up uh, a tremendous amount of experience now. So now when he does go against the best in the welterweight division, he'll be that much uh, more prepared uh, to beat those guys. I mean, a lot of options, a lot of interesting things happening right now in the MMA space. And again, you know, with this happening, that means we could see other trades in the future. That was the first time we had ever seen that. Perhaps we see that again uh, in the near future. Yeah, it seemed as though the circumstances just aligned perfectly here. Just so weird to see Demetrius Johnson thanking Ben Askren for his role in wow. all of this. and. That does bring us to Demetrius Johnson. I think you touched on the legacy a little bit. You talked about Ben Askren's ability and willingness to sell a fight. DJ doesn't really want to have to do that. He doesn't mm -hmm. want to play promoter. He doesn't want to have to engage on social media back and forth picking fights. And, of course, as the guy who successfully defended the UFC Flyweight Championship a record 11 times, yeah. he never was the guy who had to go down that road. But a big part of the appeal, if you take DJ at his words recently, is just that 
he can get back to just sort of being a true martial artist and be re- appreciated for that. And right. I think at least as far as DJ is concerned, 1FC seems to be a really good fit for him on a personal and professional level. Listen, this is a guy who really um, wanted to be as authentic as possible in, in how he approached the sport, and I think he's done that. Um, he's not here to try to hype up fights and do all that other stuff. He's just not interested. He, he wants to get paid for what he does, as he should. Um, I think he was getting paid very well in the UFC. I'm sure he's going to get paid very well in 1FC as well. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, he just wants to go out there and fight the best. Um, just demonstrate his craft for, for the world to see. Um, to inspire people um, and just continue living the life of a martial artist. Keep getting, uh, keep getting yeah. better. Keep training. Um, keep showing the world how how damn good he is. Says he still feels like he's relatively young in his career. He wanted to try something different. The travel and the fighting in Asia seems to have a lot of appeal for Demetrius Johnson. None of us on the UFC side were surprised to see this happen. We had heard the rumblings about Demetrius Johnson to 1FC. We knew of Askren's interest to come to the UFC to try to prove himself. I didn't think those stories would align. And that was sort of my reaction on social media. But we had heard, Kenny, these these one FC rumblings when it came to Demetrius Johnson. So I don't know that anybody was caught off guard as far as his body of work and his future is certainly in the UFC Hall of Fame. Eleven successful title defenses at one hundred and twenty five pounds. I think that's a record that will withstand the test of time. You know, it's amazing when you look at every division on paper and you try to forecast a champion right now making that type of run and I think Robert Whitaker was the first name that sort of came off the page to me because it's not a struggle to make the weight I don't ever expect to see him move up to light heavyweight so the fact that Whitaker as a young man has found his division encourages me that he can maybe defend this thing successively for a long time but Ken Flo 11 successful title defenses I think any legacy is going to have a hard time in any division you know, being on par with what Demetrius Johnson accomplished. And for me, it's a little bit too bad that as he exits, there isn't more of that talk and, you know, less of of some of the stuff that's out there right now. You know, statistics don't always indicate what is actually going on, right? But for in this case, the information is so overwhelming, uh, uh, both on paper and from what the eyes can see, right, as far as the skill that he demonstrated inside the octagon. He was just at a different level, the greats in any sport are the guys that not only beat everybody, right, but are the guys that actually elevate the sport as a whole. Demetrius Johnson has shown what is possible inside the octagon, what, it's, yeah. what is possible uh, as far as being such a, not only a complete mixed martial artist, but dangerous in all facets of the game. If you're looking to be a mixed martial artist, study Demetrius Johnson. That's the guy you should be looking at, the way that he blends everything together. Find it for your style, of course, but uh, the way that Demetrius was able to go out there and compete and be dangerous uh, in every single range of combat is something I'm not sure we're going to see for a very long time. I think we're still a little bit a ways away. Um, Guys are getting close, but not quite like Demetrius Johnson. Um... On the other side of things, John, I'm a little concerned. Are you concerned with with what might happen to the 125-pound division now uh, that Demetrius Johnson is gone? Is is that a threat now to to the guys in that division? Do you think that's going to stick around? I think that it it takes some time to sort of repurpose some of those fighters and then maybe cut some others. So Mm. I think for those who are maybe excited at the possibility of that division going away, I think it's ambitious to think it's going to happen anytime soon. Mm. But certainly... You look at everything on paper and you look at the current champion, Henry Cejudo, and his aspirations to not just move up and challenge T.J. Dillashaw for the 135-pound title, but his aspirations to never weigh 125 pounds again, right? Like right. That's a part of it, too, is that a lot of these guys who do cut to 25, um, they do so, and it's very difficult for them, including mm-hmm. the current resident champion. So I think those are all angles to it. But they've worked hard to sort of establish this division, and you've seen guys like Dustin Ortiz and others sort of come out and say, hey, hang on a second. Like, mm-hmm. we got a body of work, too, and, and some of us are on runs here. I'd like to see them keep it. I don't know if that's the minority opinion. I right. still think there are enough guys in the top 10. Um, but certainly, you can understand why it's a talking point, given what Cejudo has said and now given what DJ has done. Yeah, and as far as numbers, right, as far as numbers for that division, I think it's the smallest division uh, that we have, besides maybe some of the women's divisions, like the 125-pound division, for example. But um, we, we just don't have a lot of them. So, yeah, I'm, right. I'm curious to see what happens with that division. Um, I know there's been rumblings about maybe getting that 
division out of there. Um, there's some amazing yeah. fighters there. I enjoy watching that division, but we'll see what happens. All right. Well, it is inarguable that Demetrius Johnson will go down as one of the greatest UFC champions of all time. And if you don't want to consider him the class of the pound for pound discussion, that is fine. But look at the body of work. Look at the resume. And um, we wish Demetrius Johnson all the best as he moves forward. We wish Ray Longo all the best this weekend. No fancy drop this week because I want to make sure that the audio issues are okay. We can't see you right now, Ray, but they tell me you are live. They say you look great. I'll take them at their word. (laughs) I don't believe How's your Monday? But, I mean, this is unbelievable, man. No video. Man, I, I did my hair just for you today, John. <laughs> just for you. But uh, no, spoiled. Just, uh, just, just got done with Embedded. Weidman looks phenomenal. Great workout. Um, I just I feel really good about this fight. Uh, it, it's going to be a great night, I think. And uh, he just really just he just crushed the workout. 